Hello and welcome back to some more World Championship Snooker 2004 and the penultimate episode of our eight part classic matches series. Uh, we've been going through the years of the World Championship Finals and we are finally up to the Peter Ebden Stephen Hendry encounter uh, from 2002. Uh, it's going to be absolutely fantastic and uh, really can't wait to, to, to get into it for you guys. It does show greyed out um, sections of this, I think because uh, I use the cheat code to unlock uh, the Ronnie O'Sullivan one. If you didn't see the Stephen Hendry match then that probably won't make much sense to you. But uh, yes, uh, why don't we get ourselves into it. So Peter Ebden versus Stephen Hendry in 2002 on the normal aim and aid. Match information, it's uh, obviously the final score was 18-17. Uh, he requires only a single frame to beat seven times world champion Stephen Hendry to become the new world champion. It's at 17 all. Hendry leading 7-0 in the decider, Ebden at the table. So without further ado, let's get into it. Of course, if you are enjoying it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Help the algorithm out. Let us know down in the comments. Do you remember watching this final? Um, obviously, I I didn't watch it live, but uh, I've seen a lot of it uh, in in clips and stuff. And of course, it was the last decider that we had at the Crucible to this day. So here we go. Let's see how it goes. Peter Ebden beat seven times world champion Stephen Hendry in a final frame thriller to win his first World Snooker Championship crown. At 17 frames all, and the ball scattered, Hendry made a seven break to take a slender lead. Ebden came to the table with a real chance of winning the final frame and match. Faced with a simple red with easy position on the black and the reds well split, win the world title for Peter Ebden. Here we go then. So, of course, on the uh, normal aim and aid rather than the, the one we have been using, which means you don't get the, the overhead view anymore, which <laughs> on this game can be uh, quite crucial, to say the least. So, I've just got to try our best. It might take us a little while to do it, but uh, here we go, straight into the pack with this red. Yeah, played that well. Looks like we're on the blue. One. And we've got some reds out into the open. That's all we could have asked for, really. Yeah, it's going to be super tough to make a substantial break here. Yeah, Got to play it with a lot of top spin. Try and get through the brown. It's not great. Got the red nearest Six. the pocket. Should be okay. Again, the, these are the type of shots that you really struggle with on the same and aid difficulty. So I'm going to go for this one instead. Lots of power. Here we go. It's gone in. Are we on the black? Well I don't in. think so. Seven. That's a pity. It's a good pot. No position though. Well. It's going to have to be the, the thin snick on the yellow. Into the middle bag. Here we go. <laughs> It's there, and well, we're, we're managing it so far. No, <laughs> doesn't mean to say we'll keep it up, but uh, we've just got to keep popping the balls at no the end of the day. With this shot. Yeah, just drop this red in, land on the black. Nice, perfect. easy part. Absolutely perfect. So. <laughs> the 
stone in uh, the reds. I tried to, <laughs> didn't quite manage it. Now it's interesting because I'm not entirely sure what we're on here. This is a possible plant. Uh, I'll try and cut that red in. Well, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So, yeah, why don't we go for that? Yeah, it's there. Uh, He's done well to put. All we gotta do is is keep potting them, as I say. You know, um, as long as we keep doing that, that's fine. This is a good chance to to get a good positional shot, and this will put us seventeen in the lead. Twenty-four. Good shot. So of course got the the red into the middle. This was the red that I wanted. Yeah, that's pretty good. Straight into those reds, try and bring them into play. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. 32. Looks good. We can either play the plant. That red maybe goes as well. Just play this one. Yep, it's there. Right. This is good. It's tough without the, the overhead, but uh, it means you have to keep good position, so... Mm, that'll do, will it, if it pulls up? 30. I don't think it did pull up. Mm. Might have a tricky little shot here. Can we get to enough of that red? I think we can. So. <coughs> Nearly overcut that, but we're all awesome. right. Absolutely fine. Straightforward pot there. You're not perfect here. Yeah, it's not a bad little camera angle to help us out on this one. Yeah, nice one. And perfect on the blue this time. Yeah, getting closer and closer here to the winning mark. Just got to be a bit careful here. Going to play some sort of cannon. Forty-nine. Mm. Couldn't have went much worse. Does this red pass the blue? Does, but that's very very difficult red to the middle also very difficult I think it will be wise to just roll up to this red and let Stephen play the difficult shot but a nice 42 point lead in this decider against the seven time champion Oh, 
I need to turn the AI you know, shots back on. He's played a pretty good shot there, hasn't he? Fortunately for us. Should be alright though. Get this cue ball up by the yellow again. Mmm. Well, we've left Stephen a wonderful chance here. Are we going to get another shot? I mean, so unlucky. He's done one. Yeah. He should have no trouble with this shot. Not sure if we'll get another chance here. Eight. Straight. Nine. Sixteen. Yeah, he's a little bit fortunate there. Seventeen. And then, what's he going to do? Twenty-four. He's left himself on the red to the middle pocket. It's not a gimme. Especially at the pace he's going to have to play it at. Played that very nicely though. Where's the cue ball going? It's okay. 25. He's got to get onto this red. Into the right corner though. Played that beautifully well. 32. Good shot. Now then, this is our last chance, really, that this cannon goes wrong. 33. Well, we played the other red. 33. He's okay. What a match, good ladies shot. and gentlemen. An incredible display of snooker, as good as you'll ever see. Played it well. So just this black, get to the yellow, and you would think Stephen Hendry's going to be an eight-time world there. champion. 47. A good shot from here. That's a lovely shot. 49. Straightforward pot there. So we're gonna have to have another go at this. Fifty six. Shots like this are no problems for players of this quality. <laughs> if the cannon went well, I think it was match over. The cannon didn't go well though. Sixty one. But there you go. He's done well to put that one in. So well done, Stephen Hendry. Who's won his eighth world title. But we're going to have to come back and win Peter Ebden's first again. 74. Are we going to get a better chance than what we had there? A big round of applause, please, for the runner-up, Peter Ebden. And here is your winner, a world champion for the eighth time, Stephen Hendry. Well, there you go. What could have happened? 
And would Stephen Hendry have won any more had he won that one? I think that one did hurt him a lot because he, he expected to beat Peter Rebdin. He certainly did, but uh, there you go. Let's see how we get on in take two. Here we go then, take two. And, uh, well, hopefully we managed to at least replicate some of what we did in the fact that we got very, very close. Just not quite close enough to winning it. But here we go. First shot. Ah. He's won. <laughs> oh, well. Unless we knock this blue in, we're going to struggle. So here we go. It's got to go in. Oh, it's there. Are we on a red, though? I don't think so. Six. Oh, pity. Unless there's a plant to the left middle. Just going to have a little look at that. No, it's not. So just the roll up. Into the apex of those reds. We'll be fine. The standard of play here is absolutely superb. The audience are getting a real treat. Sure. Good safety play. Can we get to enough of that? I think we can. We can get to enough of it. I think we can get on the black. So, chance. It's a cracker. One. Good shot. Right. Gonna have to play into these reds here. Miss that red. No, we didn't. Didn't miss the red. I mean, we've got a possible pot to the green pocket, but it's not easy. Well, I think we have to go for it. No doubt about that. Oh, what a shot. Nine. It's there. Great pot. Stephen Henry muttering to himself in, in his seat. Lots of power. Try and get into these reds because they're not nice at the moment. Right forward again. Yeah. Just not good. Not good. Might have a pot to the left corner. The audience are on the edge of their seats here. Still no plan to the middle. Yeah, that red doesn't go, so... Just gonna roll up to this red, knowing that Stephen can't pot anything. And just hope for the best. Oh, that red went. Where's the cue ball going? Oh, how did One. that not go? In the pocket, well... I didn't think that red would go. Clearly. I think Stephen will do well to win the frame from here, though, to be fair. So, let's just hope he doesn't go into the reds at any point. Well, he didn't need to, apparently. Ah, well, take three. Okay, so here we go. Take three. Let's see how we get on. Yeah, that's a, forward pot that's a better split. 
This should be an easy shot. So we've just got to power the blue in, a little bit of screw in and out of bulk. Should get onto a red. That's the blue. I can't believe we missed the blue. That's so annoying. Well, let's see how many Stephen Hendry scores off this. Well, not many. Just the one. Chance to go into the reds again here. Here we go. Are we on the black? One. Well, might be on the green. Worse ways, the but standard of yeah, play we are here is absolutely superb. The audience are getting a real treat. So black into the bottom corner. Straight oh, how did we kiss there. any of the reds there? Eight. Yeah. Might be on nothing here. Certainly nothing easy. Uh, you can't just can't believe that, can you? Yeah, I'm gonna have to play the, the safety and hope we don't hit the knuckle again. This one looks like it's gonna be a lot more tense than the Last two frames we've played. That needs to wobble. And it has done. That's okay. Yeah. Well, there's a pot on here and I think we have to go for it. Again, it's, it's not an easy one. Just got to drop it in and hope for the best. So here we go. It's there. Where's the cue ball going to end up? One. Brilliant. Can pop the pop the pink though. Yeah. So pink. Screw back. Oh, why can't we screw back here? We can if we dig down a bit. Gotta be careful though. Here we go. Yeah, great pot. And decent Seven. position. Lots of top spin trying to get through these reds. How's our luck? It's not bad, we've Eight. got the blue. I think it's fair to say that this match will be going down in the pages of history. Right. Come on then. Blue into the corner. Lots of screw back into these reds. Just try not to plant one in Joe. He's done well to point that's that. okay. Thirteen. That'll do very nicely. I think we can get on the black here. Yeah. Just need to pop the pop the red. Kiss into this red next to it. Cue ball should hold nicely. This is a great chance. This is better than our first chance, definitely. Fourteen. Just got to make sure that we make the most of it. You never know when you're going to get a better chance in these classic matches. Twenty-one. That's okay. We're going to have the red over the pocket. Let's 
That's exactly what we have. Twenty-two. Oh, we're okay. We've got the blue to the corner. So pop this. Pretty much hold the cue ball where the blue is. That would be great. So here it goes. Brilliant. Good pop. And now, what a chance to beat the the penultimate classic match. Twenty-eight. Oh, perfect here. Excuse me. The easiest of blacks and the positional side of things. Definitely not straightforward. I think we have to play it with screw and again hope for the best a little bit here. Here we go. Red's in. What's the position like? It's not bad. Thirty five. It's not bad. Definitely settle for it. So, oops, thirty six points in front. Still plenty on the table. I'll try and drop the red in, hold the white for the black. There goes the red. 36. And perfect on the black once again. This should be an easy shot. <laughs> Straightforward pop there. Yeah, a good shot. Good shot. 44 <laughs> points the lead now. Only 67 remaining, so... Only a couple of these reds with blacks will win us the world title. There it goes. 44. Nice one. Tell you what, I didn't check. I didn't check whether this red went. <laughs> oh no. Well. Yeah, that would be surely too risky to play that red, so. Just the roll up. Hope for the best here. 52 points the lead. 59 on the table. That's fine. Let's see if can't go up to the bulk end because of that red. Oh, well, he fouled. I don't really know what happened there. I would like to have another look at it, though. Let's have a little look. I think that yeah. deserves another look. Oh, he potted the black. Well, so what's the scores on the doors now? 59 ahead. 59 on the table. Yeah, if we can just roll that red in. Because Stephen will do very well to get onto the black. With... Uh, both these reds if we just roll this in so here we go 54. Oh, it's not going to reach is it it's not there so Stephen Hendry has a chance to make this a respotted black final which would be interesting 
Where's the brown going? Mm, One. He needs to pop the black here. Oh, he's going to need a snooker. Well, he's playing the green, so he is going to need a snooker now. Four. Be interesting to see what he does here. He's done well to five. That's not the best shot. This should be an easy shot. Playing the brown now. So what's this going to be? Straight four. fifty behind with forty-three on. So Nine. two snookers needed. A brown's gone on the yellow spot. Bit bizarre, but it has done. And he is going to try and pop the red. Hopefully, pop the black as well. He's done well to put that one in. Oh, he's doing the classic Snooker 19 method and completely messed it up. So, there you go, we've done it. We've done this uh, classic match. We've completed it. One. There you go. And that, that was pretty tough, but, uh, you know, in all three frames we had a chance. Eight. So it's not impossible. The audience are on the edge of their seats here. Let's see if I can pop the yellow. Yeah, pretty good. Ten. Pretty good. What about the green? I think that's probably a bit thick. No. He's done well to put that one in. Feels a lot more skillful <laughs> in some ways to manage this. Seventeen. Yeah. Feeling is that that's a bit thin. Oh, unlucky. Well, they can't good go snooker though. All the time, but he'll be disappointed by that. He'll have to use the cushions to get out of this. Well, he's conceded. I thought he was actually going to play on, but there you go. He has conceded, and Peter Ebden wins the World Snooker Championship. A worthy opponent. Let's have a big hand for Stephen Hendry. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Peter Ebden. So there you go, Peter Rebden, 2002 World Snooker Champion. And uh, let's get ourselves onto the video for it. And uh, well, hopefully, um, I think I, I think it'll be a pretty good one. I mean, it was the last decider that we had in the World Championship. Uh, quite unbelievable, really, uh, when you think about it. But. We've had a couple of 18 16 since then. Uh, we had the 2018 final go to 18 16. We had the um, 2005 final go to 18 16. I think that might be it. That might be it. The rest were 15 or more, but here we go. The world snooker champion, Peter Ebden.
Well, there you go. Well, there you have it. Peter Repton wins the World Snooker Championship. We've got one more to come. Mark Williams versus Ken Doherty. And that's going to be in the next episode on Wednesday. If you have enjoyed this, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more uh, snooker content in the future. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.